Hey everyone, so we're in Taiwan right now. We're doing our factory tour series. And while we were out here, we stopped by Lian Li's offices and they wanted to show us some updates to their Landcool 2 series cases. So this was not part of the planned tour and it almost feels like some early Computex style coverage. We don't typically do one-off products coverage while we're traveling other than for shows, but this one's worth talking about. We last talked about the Landcool 2 mesh updates at uh, CES. And there's a couple new changes here versus even then, and it was still uh, some good changes at the time. Before that, this video is brought to you by the new Be Quiet Straight Power 11 Platinum Power Supply Series, available from 550 watts to 1200 watts. The new Straight Power 11 is platinum certified, operating more efficiently than before, reducing heat and lowering noise levels as a result. The Be Quiet Straight Power 11 Platinum is up to 94.1% efficient and meets the new low power standards of just 0.16 watts when in standby. Learn more about this high-end, noise-focused power supply at the link in the description below. So let me update you on all this. Basically, let me, we'll walk back to this one first. So this is the Landcool that we already talked about. It's been reviewed. Uh, and the changes that were shown at CES were between this Landcool 2 panel and this one, which this was the mesh variant, aptly named, uh, for obvious reasons. But this is what was at CES. The difference here is pretty obvious. The new difference, though, let me put these side by side. The holes are the same size, but Li and Li has increased the, I guess, the density, the hole density per square area, and they've just moved them closer together. So some of this on the this product just to be clear never shifts but some of the changes on this land cool 2 mesh prototype from ces uh versus this one it just brings the the holes in which should help with a few things one of them is going to be static pressure performance of the fans because you have less of an obstruction in front of them you're not dealing with as, as much material to fight past and then the side panels as well have had the same type of change so these on the the side doors here these are also denser hole placement, but this is not final either. This is still a prototype. And the, the one thing that Lee and Lee wanted me to point out here was that in the final version of this right now, they're not super happy with how the structural uh, feel is of this. It's a bit wobbly. So what they're planning to do in the more final model is uh, not bring the holes down quite as low. So that would get more of a, a, a firm non-punctured steel strip at the bottom of the side skirt door to help with rigidity, but I mean, realistically, that's not really gonna impact airflow in, in a negative, meaningful way. So it's a good compromise to strengthen it without probably sacrificing much of anything. So those are the main changes. It's the mesh density versus the CES model. This one, you probably remember, it had completely different sides. They were basically solid. Uh, there was some small ventilation up in the bottom right side, kind of towards the top of the power supply shroud but it also had a much different uh, hole pattern for the venting. So we'll show some B-roll of this stuff, but this is something I talked about at CES where the and Lee determined after thermal testing that the uh, performance of these vertical slits for air on the top, as opposed to the larger hexagonal slits, uh, it's superior on these because, I mean, it's, there's, just, there's more hole, so there's gonna be more airflow. Uh, same for the back, where the rear fan is. There's a 120 right now. This is a prototype model, but um, there's a hexagonal holes in the back for the fan, hexagonal holes for uh, the sort of passive venting next to the GPU, and those are the, the main changes for the whole um, punching on the panels. So that should all improve thermals. The thing I really liked about that was this is the kind of change we don't really typically see from manufacturers. So uh, you'll get it from like, uh, you start talking about thermal take or Cooler Master, uh, I guess to some extent NZXT, although they're smaller than either of those, but the larger manufacturers that are just more mass produced and kind of push quantity more than anything, you don't really see the type of agility with changes that you do here. So uh, this, I mean, this is all good. It's small changes that should actually be meaningful and it's done before the product has even come out. So it's all good stuff. This is a prototype, it's not gonna be this color. It was just made here for demonstration, but these are the covers for the power supply shroud we talked about at CES. We had some renders from Lian Li at the time, but those go in above the power supply shroud. Uh, they're gonna be black, so it won't be as obvious as it is here. And then they were talking about potentially punching some holes in for SSDs as well. So you've got an option for, you either leave it there and it's just venting, 
or you pull it out and you put a fan there is the idea. Uh, and in this instance, unlike with this, this unit, where it shouldn't really matter that much, in the instance of the new changes, putting a fan in on top of the power supply with the amount of holes in on the side should actually pull some extra air and get it into the GPU. So uh, that should have a positive impact. One other important change for this is Lee and Lee's moved to two 140 millimeter fans for the front, and then they've got one 120 in the back. So that'll be a significant change to look at as well. It'll have implications for noise normalized thermals, and we'll test all that as soon as we get it in. So pricing is supposed to still be about the same. It's supposed to be about $90 still for the, the updated mesh version of the Langcool 2. And then availability is not confirmed yet, but maybe sometime in June. And you can just keep an eye on our channel. Obviously, we'll update you when we know more. So uh, that's going to be the updates for the Landcool. I know this case was really popular when it came out. A lot of people requested reviews of it. A lot of people were interested in the CES coverage of it. So that's your update of what's happened in just the last couple months alone, which is uh, an impressive amount of changes for just a few months since CES in early January and we'll update you once we know more. Hopefully Computex actually happens so we can cover potentially a launch there. But that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more as always. Check back for our factory tour series. We're going to have some shots of Lee and Lee's factories as well and a lot of stuff to learn there. Otherwise, you can go to patreon.com slash or store.gamersnexus.net to help us out directly, and I'll see you all next time.